he started the fifth at 65 pitches, right? Gavin Lux walks. Bellinger's on second. Out comes Ethan Katz. So he starts the at-bat to Austin Barnes, 83 pitches. Is it 83? Okay. Here we go. I mean, you know, we're watching it. We're watching him labor. So Barnes reaches on the, the fielder's choice on the and the error by Berger. Then he strikes out Mookie Betts. Remember that. So he begins the Freddie Freeman at bat at 92 pitches. There should have been somebody warming at the start of the inning. Certainly, the reason part of the reason why Ethan Katz comes out, part of the reason what that visit should do is buy you warm-up time. Mound visits are precious now. Mound visits are currency. Mound visits are used to allow everything to get going. And that means in your high leverage moments that decide games that aren't necessarily seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. At that point, that bullpen should be going. However, and maybe you have a, a mid leverage, a high leverage, depending on what the score is, depending on what you have to do, however you want to manage it, cover your ass. At the very least, the bullpen has to start with the tying run on deck, which is runners on first and second. However you want to define it, the, at the very least. But to to waste a pitching coach visit, to waste the free time that you get to get ready. Get somebody ready. Get more than one person ready. Get somebody ready to be ready at that point. Nothing. Crickets. After the Freeman double, a properly managed team after the Freeman double has a, a, a reliever ready. There's the hook. Thank you. You're done. That at bat begun at 92 pitches. The Freddie Freeman at bat, he was at 92. So double. All right. It's 4-2. We still have the lead. Let's bring in a fresh arm. Let's get out of this intact. We'll lick our wounds and, and we'll be 4-2, maybe 4-3. We're fine. Nothing. No movement. No action. Nothing. Then Trey Turner singles. Then the then Grundell comes out. That's more time. And usually that's because a manager or somebody involved has given the catcher. The, the 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 talking hand sign. That means we gotta we gotta buy time for our relievers to get warm. But nothing. Then then you know what happened. Trey Turner steals a base, the Max Muncie double, the Will Smith walk. Three more hitters after the Freeman double. And then when you listen to why Tony LaRusa left him in, it's the opposite reason. For why he issued the historic one and two intentional walk. He doesn't know why he's doing things. The manager of the Chicago White Sox himself does not understand why he's doing what he's doing. And that's where we are. I don't know where you begin with how sad, how pathetic that performance was. That is the nadir of a once of a great career of a guy who was a legitimately great manager. This is unbelievably sad. And it, it would be, you know, it would be it would be more sad if he weren't such a piece of garbage person. I'm I'm not personally sad cuz he's the, the the guy's he's just not a sympathetic figure at all. Not in any way shape or form. The defiance, the lack of understanding and here's what I'm talking about. He's pitching. It's his inning. Dylan Cease. He struck out Mookie Betts. It's his inning. Wants to be the pitcher of record. Let him compete. Compete, compete, compete. And you can give him all the numbers you want about the, the, where you are in the order. How about this? Well, there's nobody in the bullpen you want to use in the fifth inning. Who cares what inning it is? Win the game with a high leverage situation. I don't care what damn inning it is. You got everybody in your bullpen. Get them ready. It's not, you can't decide when the key outs are in a game when the high leverage moments come. What do you mean there's nobody in the bullpen you want to use in the fifth inning? Who cares what inning it is? You use the guys in the bullpen to get the outs that you need to win the game whenever those situations occur. Well, I, I can't use them yet. I, well, what about your, your good pitchers that can get guys out? Nope, not time yet. Baseball tells you when the moments are that decide games. It's not necessarily 7th, 8th, ninth inning like it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago. He's pitching. It's his inning. And if a pitcher of record, you care about a pitching win? And if it's all about competing, let me ask you this, Skip. If it's all about competing, he's pitching. It's his inning. 
Well, what about when you got a guy one and two? One and two. It's not his moment at that point now. That doesn't belong to him in the same way. He doesn't get ownership of, of his competition at that point. Now, now, after the fact, well, I got I to gotta go to the analytics. I got to go to look at this number and that number and this number. That bull crap. He doesn't know why he's making these decisions. He can't justify them. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. He's pitching. It's his inning. Compete. Compete. It's not baseball. Ah, uh, you can throw all that stuff out. Ah, uh, he struck out Mookie Betts. He's that guy on the mound. And I, I don't want to use anybody in my bullpen right now. He's, he's the pitcher of record. It's his inning. Okay. Well, now you got a, a different guy out there, and he's, he's ahead in the count, one and two. Opportunity to get him to expand the strike zone a little bit. Look at, look at the overall league batting average on one and two. And now, now all that stuff about competing's out the window. It's his inning. It's his guy. No, not for him. It's not. Because now now I've got to do something that's never been done in baseball before just because. And then stand there. Is that really a question? Like, my God. Is that really a question? You've got actual audible fans during the game calling him out by name as the decision is being made. You have players, all the broadcasters on both teams, you have players on both teams standing there looking at each other, I don't know what this guy's doing. And he has the gall, he has the temerity to stand there. Is that even a question? Is that even a, how can anybody be, be questioning me? The disconnect there is terrifying. And no one will do it. Nobody on the bench, nobody involved. No, I mean, and that to have nobody warming up.